Hello, hello! In this episode I would like to discuss something which is absolutely useless – overclocking of RA8875. Why is it useless? Because building any electronic circuit, the number one principle is stability. Definitely we don't want to build device with unpredictable behavior, which depends on for example temperature or some unknowns. So why overclock RA8875? First of all, because we can. And of course, because it is fun. And, for me the main reason, because we can learn something interesting. So let's dive in. My test environment consists of 7 inch display controlled by RA8875, which is connected to Curiosity Nano at Mega4809. As you can see in the datasheet of RA8875, maximum system clock frequency is 60 MHz. What happens if we will increase it? In theory, because internal operations are clocked by this clock, accelerated functions should speed up. As a result, we should observe some performance gain. Okay. Let's check it. Our first problem is how do we change the system clock frequency? Actually, the solution is quite simple as RA8875 has two registers responsible for frequency adjustments. PLL control register 1 has a simple divider by 2 and PLL for frequency multiplication in a range from 1 to 31. The second register, PLL control register 2, has a programmable divider so we can divide the frequency by 2 for 4, 8 and so on up to 128. Because on my module I already have a 20 MHz crystal, it is easy to use PLL and divider to produce a higher frequency. However, another factor needs to be considered – the acceptable pixel clock frequency of the LCD panel. However, we have another register called pixel clock setting register. By configuring this register, we can divide the system clock by 1, 2, 4 and 8 respectively to produce a pixel clock. And why it is important? It's important because as we can see, see every LCD panel, depending on the resolution, has an acceptable pixel clock frequency range. Too high frequency, probably LCD panel will not be able to produce an image. Too slow, for the long term we can expect some panel degradation. For an 800 by 480 LCD panel, the acceptable pixel clock frequency is between 30 to 35 MHz. It means that if we want to increase system clock frequency, we must adjust the divider so the pixel clock will remain within the acceptable range. Now we can try to write a program that will change the default system clock frequency. In the beginning I will increase the system frequency to 120 MHz and by adjusting pixel clock setting register the pixel clock remain at 70 MHz. And here are my results. To be honest I didn't expect that 100% overclock will work but it seems that everything is ok and we can see the stable operation. So far so good. Let's try to 240 MHz. I really don't expect any positive results and, indeed, we can clearly see that 240 MHz is too much for RA8875. So let's try something in between. Maybe 180 MHz? If successful, it will be still 300% more than the original frequency. And yes, it works. So let's try a little bit more, maybe 190 MHz. And as you can see, the results are a little bit weird. The display is almost working, however we can see some instability. The instability is not a result of too slow pixel clock, as we can observe some minor video memory corruption. If I switch off the power and let the RA some rest, and next turn the power on again, for a couple of seconds RA can, to some extent, operate at 190 MHz. So it seems that for my RA, 180 MHz is the maximum, however it is still an impressive 300% overclock. In the end, let's take a look at the execution time of simple commands. You can notice that execution time has decreased as system frequency increased. And the results are really impressive. At 180 MHz, commands are executed 3 times faster than expected. But please be warned, we have no proof that such an operation is possible in a real environment and is stable. That's why I don't recommend overclocking RA8875. I've done it only for fun. And the last thing. Maybe actually RA is fast enough and overclocking is not necessary at all. Can you see any differences in the following movies? And as always you can leave your questions and comments below. What do you think about overclocking? Are you able to reach a higher system frequency? Please let me know.